exactly my next question is to i mean i'm i'm going to switch gears and come back to your home uh, ground which is science um i i remember reading an article of yours uh, on newton uh, i found that very interesting where you spoke, spoke of certain uh, aspects of him or his life which um i think you called it the dark side of newton or something um would you care to talk a little bit just briefly about him because i want to bring this up because uh you know again in in tying up with what we just spoke earlier how in india we tend to revere <clears throat> western men of science uh not really knowing much about you know the the truth actually so could you talk a little bit about newton what what i think most people don't know or are un- un- unaware of well um, sometimes newton is seen as the harbinger of the scientific age hmm. and uh, here he saw Uh, the cosmos as a clockwork and mm-hmm. uh, gravitation and physical laws etc cetera, etc cetera. and of course <coughs> science took off newton and leibniz and many others but um, we often speak of newtonian um, physics and that is supposed to be <coughs> a departure <coughs> let's say from the way within the narratives in india from the way uh, physics was done in india uh now they uh, but i think um, 70 or 80 years ago uh, it was discovered uh, that much more than his own physics he had been writing on alchemy and these books had been hidden because they the english elite didn't want the rest of the world to know what newton had actually spent most of his life doing right. and in this uh newton had the most backward ideas and he was uh, looking at uh, um you know a literal uh, interpretation of the test old testament and the new testament that he believed that the world was going to end in 2012 or something well, yeah, if right. it didn't, or if it didn't end that soon maybe 2065 or you know this is biblical chronology which goes back to the creation of the universe in 4004 BCE and all that stuff mm-hmm. so a lot of this stuff uh, was sort of religious mumbo jumbo mm-hmm. and, um, and this is more many times more than um, what his physics had been and of course we should praise his physics but uh, again uh, to talk about his physics what's interesting is that um, and this is something that i wrote a book on 5 uh, 6 years ago i went back to the very earliest indian physics and mm-hmm. that's kanada and kanada mm-hmm. did his vaisheshika sutras yes. uh, and uh, according to scholars uh, they were done about 600 bce mm-hmm. now in vaisheshika sutras um, kanada comes up with the most advanced view of looking at reality in many ways more advanced than newton himself mm-hmm. of course he he doesn't have uh, the law of gravitation although mm-hmm. you know gravitation had, is something that others have also spoken about like bhaskar acharya he didn't have the equation but he did see uh, that uh, how how we make sense of um, objects uh, in the sky is mm-hmm. because gravitation balances out in fact bhaskar acharya mentions that uh, specifically but kanada to come back mm. kanada viewed reality as two triangles one like the shakti triangle which mm. consists of dravya karma and guna which mm. means substance um, motion and the properties oh. so that is one triangle and the other triangle which is like the shiva triangle consists of samanya which is universal vishesha which is particular to the person who is interacting with prakriti and then samavaya the meeting point of the observer and the observed you know it was incredible it's as advanced as can be and this is something which is guiding the evolution of such ideas not necessarily mm-hmm. people don't know about kanada very few do Mm-hmm. but he also had laws of motion newton's laws of motion mm-hmm. of the three laws he has two in almost exactly the same verbiage this is uh, why should she kanada 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 has for example he has a law which says to every action there's an equal reaction or if you let a object if you don't interfere with it it will stay 
or keep on moving right. without changing. So uh, the second law, F is equal to MA, he doesn't have that, but he has it in some sense indirectly and right. uh, you, can, you can sense that. So it's very, very um, contem uh, contemporary view of looking at reality that mm -hmm. as far as properties of the physical universe are concerned, they should be obtained only from the study of substances, their, pro their characteristics and their motions. You know, which is which is as as um, relevant now as it has ever been. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content, and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.